Welcome back, everybody. So, we accomplished the impossible, and we moved from here, the gate, to right here. An rocky, airless world, with a great source of fuel and no breathable atmosphere. Um, so I guess to find it, all I did was just click around in the sector, and like look through the planets, they're all like, it's a lush, beautiful, green planet. Mostly harmless, with all sorts of air and no fuel. So I just kept clicking around until I eventually was like, you're gonna die! But we're not gonna die, because we have an implant. Wait, does it say it rains meteors? It, it, it's sunny? I believe that says acid rain and meteor showers, with no oxygen. What's the... it also tells you how dangerous... yeah, it's harmless. It's harmless, but there's acid rain showers and it freaking meteors all day. So, that's a bit messed up. Anyways, we're going down to the surface. And we are going to set up for ourselves a little miniature base of operations. So first thing we need to do, probably, is find some flat ground. Hmm. Oh. Actually, if we make flat ground right here, this might be a good spot because it's right over a pre-built hole in the ground. And um, I believe our goal here is just to... I guess this hole isn't that deep, but whatever. It seems interesting. Our goal here is just to pick up enough fuel to start being able to move to other sectors. So, let's make our own own platform here. This ought to be good. Oops, that's wrong. Okay, so the second upgrade on the matter manipulator is to hold liquids, which at the time seemed a bit ridiculous and useless. I didn't really want to pick up water, but it actually sounds like it's very necessary to pick up, I guess, the fuel for your ship's FTL is uh, actually like a liquid. Like I said before when I was playing the game about two years ago, since that's the only point of reference I have, uh, you could use anything like coal, so you didn't need to have a liquid pick up abilities. Still have not gone through my inventory. Um, oh well, shoot, we're out of dirt, so I guess we're gonna use cobblestone. Be a hideous, hideous little house, but that's okay. So if you remember a little while ago, well, I can't remember anything now that's this dark, um, I was talking about trying to get some cables and stuff to hook up my Wii so I could do random Wii games on this, uh, but I was hoping to have some videos up already if that was going to work, but uh, I don't think it's going to work because the cable I got was not the right thing, so for the time being, um, there's not going to be massive variations of videos. It's pretty much just going to be more of this in FTL for a while. I'm going to look into getting more games, but I sadly will not be able to put up any, like, I wanted to do a bunch of Super Metroid, I was thinking Shovel Knight is a fun game that I played, like, only one time. It's pretty, I don't know, just, that's just a fun, cute little game, so, I thought that'd be a fun one to do also. But, for the time being, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen, but I guess it's okay. I'm gonna look into some other alternatives, and we should be able to make something happen eventually. But anyways, thank you for checking out the video, and any of the videos you looked at, I appreciate it a bunch. I'm having a wonderful time making these. And yeah, so I guess we're out of cobblestone. Just gonna keep on moving forward, having a good old time with it. And this is the most rudimentary of houses, but it will work. Started throwing down some torches. Oh, there's a hole. We're exposed to the acid rains. I guess I hadn't particularly thought about that. I usually leave a window in my home so that sunlight can come in, but I mean, if there's gonna be acid rain, I don't think that's gonna be a good choice or anything. So pick up this. Oh wait, does this? Wait, yeah. If this world doesn't have any oxygen, then it's not gonna have any trees. Well, if there's no breathable atmosphere, it's just going to be rocky and desolate and hateful. Which means... 
crafting resources are going to be in short supply. So I don't think I'm going to get too carried away with like, oh my goodness, should have built the house on this hole. I'm not going to get too carried away with um, trying to like set up a full-blown base with like one of everything here. Um, I'm going to put down a teleporter though, so that we can come back here anytime we want. And I guess we'll just use this as the fuel shack. We can store bonus fuel in it, and um, we can have an easy access tunneling system. Now, I think it's going to be the purpose for this world. So I guess we will start by throwing down that teleporter. Which is somewhere. Oh, here it is. Static. Nope, that's a static cell. I thought it was purple. Do I need? Did I put it on my ship? Let's go back. Um. Oh, pff, there it is. Ridiculous. I don't know if I've talked about it yet, but I made a Twitter page the other day, which currently has not much of anything on it. Um, I figured it'd just be a good way if, I don't know if you guys are on Twitter or anything, if you're into that sort of stuff, but if you are, um, you want to contact me on there, I would definitely have the time to respond to any comments or questions or anything. So if you just would like to get in contact me in another way besides just the comment section, that would be excellent. Um, I believe there's a link to it on my channel and like the channel description. But um, yeah, it is just twitter.com slash trash blast. So pretty standard, pretty much what you'd expect. We got that. And um, I honestly don't even know if we'll need an anvil or a furnace, but at this point we have better versions on our ship, so we might as well leave them here, just in case. And we'll go there, right on the edge, on some floating dirt, so maybe it'll cave in and smash me in my face. That'd be great. Let's see. Furnace, you can go by the anvil. And hopefully someday the door. Can we build a door right now? Iron door? Wooden door. Build out of Iron, so it doesn't get... Hmm. What would be more resistant to acid rain, do you think? Iron or wood? Probably wood. It'll just soak it up and burn your hand. That way, next time you open the door, you get absolutely trashed. By a juicy, acidic door. There we go. And, okay, good, we have a ton of platforms. I have to have enough stuff to be able to get through this world, basically. Oh, what is happening? Um, like, I use a lot of wood when I'm exploring and digging through caves, so I have to have enough of that to get us by, because... What if I just fall? Okay, don't take damage just from falling all the way down, that's cool. Um, yeah, there's no trees here, and we can't go into any other planets until we get some of this fuel. So, it's kind of... We're going to try to be a little bit minimalistic with our resources. I don't know how deep down it is into the planet. I would imagine it's like the same distance down as lava was in the first planet we started on. And lava was actually not super hard to find. Oh, okay, those are little windows. Oh yeah, I'm still at the height, I can just dig windows instead of... I guess <laughs> the cutoff for window height is like right here. But I guess it's not bad to have torches that way you have light during the night, anyways. Moon dust. Alright, that's fine with me. I like moon dust. What is this? It's nothing. I think for now, I'm just gonna kinda sneaky snake wiggle my way down towards the center of the world and then. Maybe later I'll come back and just do... Well, I honestly don't have that many of these platforms right now. 143 seems like a lot, but 
go through them pretty quick. So, I'm just gonna, yeah. If there's natural passages kind of leading downwards, I'm gonna take those, which will make my tunnels a bit more serpentine. Serpentine maneuver, serpentine. Yeah. But I probably will come back later and just, like, bore a hole straight down from my hut like, all the way down to where the, where the fuel is. So in the future, I'm gonna come back through here. We just have to like, jump down a hole, basically. But that's gonna take a bunch of wood to do that. And we don't have a bunch of wood right now. And we can't get any wood until we get off this freaking planet, like I said. So, this part right here is actually pretty straight. We are three, what are they called? Matter manipulator modules? Manipulator modules? Manipulator modules. We are we have one, and we need three. I think three. And then that will upgrade. I don't know if it'll make a... It'll make the increase the size that we can dig at one time. I don't know if it'll go to a 3x3 three three square. That would be awesome. Oh, these spikes are putting off little skulls, so I believe they hurt you if you jump on them or jump up into them. Saving time, saving money. Oh, it's really ugly stairs. Don't care. Okay, I do care. I cannot lie. I really care that those stairs are so hideously shaped. I do believe I will have to actually get out of here, though. I don't know if I'll be able to teleport right back down to the surface. Oh. Oh, what is this? What is this? Ow. I jumped on some spikes. What'd I say? I see you there. Liquid Urkeus fuel, my goodness! Well, that's convenient. Before, if you wanted to drain water, you had to like dig a hole through the background or something. Spikes, spikes. No. Wait, what is this purple crystal? It's plutonium. <laughs> Is that not radioactive in real life? Thought it was. Well, whatever. I guess we'll just handle that with our bare hands. But for the time being, we've got the fuel that we need. So I think we might get out of here off this desolate, boring fuel planet. Hey, look at that. Sweet. Can I throw the fuel in here? Yes, I can. 48. Does that give 48 fuel? Yep. Right. We've powered that up. What's our ship have to say about that? Alright, okay, I can repeat that mission. I can upgrade these. Um, my, what are my goals in life right now? Mm, I need to craft titanium armor to start this one. I heard you can find titanium ore in eccentric star systems. All right. I don't think I per currently have any like main quests are highlighted in like orange. These are all green. So I don't know. I guess we'll just see where we can go with 48 fuel. I wonder if the completed quest. I should pick at least 20 units to fuel my ship. I should travel to a nearby system. All right. So I guess we can just go somewhere nearby, but at the same time new. Radioactive star. Gentle star. Radioactive star. Frozen star. Frozen star. Frozen star. Eccentric. Gravity. How much fuel is it? 233. Ew. It's disgusting. Alright, let's see if there's someplace closer. Radioactive. Eccentric. This looks closer. 
but is it that much closer? 143. My dude was telling me I need 20. Like, where am I supposed to go? Here? Well, they have another gate. Does everywhere have a gate? 64. Oh my gosh. I think I got completely lied to. No breathable atmosphere, 64. It doesn't... I'm not seeing anywhere I can actually go to right now. I mean, that was the closest one. So, I guess we gotta go back into that planet. Get some more good stuff. Boop. Oh, yeah, if I... Try and name this beacon. Or, like, make it active. Bookmark. Um, what's my favorite gas station? Arco! Because they're really cheap and their gas is potentially really bad. I actually go to Costco now for my gas because their gas is really cheap and it's potentially not really bad. Now, we're going to have to cushion that. Aha. And I... Well, I guess we'll continue our adventures downward in our somewhat already shaped mine shaft. Oh my gosh! Well, that was progress. What spikes me? You make me sick. Looks like we're gonna let's just throw up some walls right here. Just gonna chugga 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 chugga. There we go. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Ha 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 ha. Get out of here, Clay. Get out of here. Okay. This is how we're going to do it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, my friggity frick. How far did we just fall? This is a big old cave system. Goodness gracious. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. I would like to get to that eccentric star system. I don't remember how far away it was. It was either it was either 100 or 300. So we're gonna pick up a bit of this fuel. I mean, look how fast it's coming in. And I did see a huge deposit of it up there before we fell down forever. Spikes. Can't fool me. I'm the ginger fool man. Look at that. Look at that. Good stuff. So much fuel. If only real life fuel deposits were this easy to mine. I need to throw down some torches to figure out how I got. Okay. So let's just. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah. Oh, hell. I thought I was good at platforming there for just one moment, but then reality came and slapped me upside the face. I was like, I don't think so, sir. Not on my watch. You're not going to think you're good at platforming. I know I said I'd do this later. I'm sorry. I'm just a filthy liar. What can I say? I don't know what I can say, but you probably shouldn't believe me anyways. <laughs> 
Sometimes putting those down works out well, sometimes it's hideous. You just never know what you're going to get. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Alright. How much do we have? Like, 164? Alright. Let's just continue on this way. And... Hmm. Does this continue on? No, it does not. Looks like... There's a bit of a... Yes. I am so glad we found double jump this early on in the game. It's ridiculous. Oh, look, more plutonium? I should... I should have checked to see what that actually does. Plutonium rod is what I learned to craft from it. Let's see what... What's my backpack have to say about it? A great source of fuel. Oh, okay. A great source of fuel. Mm -hmm. so this place really is Arco. We got diesel. We got premium. We got standard. All sorts of fuel types. Oh my gosh. Floating death rock. Let's start throwing some flares around in here. E. E. Oh my gosh. Big cave. Man, I love flares. Oh. Okay. Oh. Here we go. There's quite a bit over here. The music just got all orcrean out of time on us here. I don't remember exactly where this kind of reminds me of, but certainly getting some more of time vibes. Maybe the farm crossed with the forest you start in. A little bit. Maybe. Maybe. In the mind of someone half remembering it from not having played for several years, maybe. Bunch of fuel, bunch of fuel. Oh my! Quite the pit. Quite the pit indeed, goodness gracious. A little bit of fuel. A little bit of continued downward pit. Ow! Spike. Oh yeah. We have gun lights. That's right. The only thing I'm going to shoot is those stupid rocks too, so that's cool. It's not like I'm going to accidentally shoot some insane monster and start something I really wish I hadn't. Okay. But here's the question. Is that stuff flammable? Will my fire gun explode the whole planet? Doesn't look like it will. Which is just dandy. Sweet. How many flares? We got 28 still. That's a lot. I honestly don't use them as much as I could. see this. But, yeah, baby! Oh, oh, wait, because we have, like, we don't need to breathe anymore, because we have that oxygen module or whatever. I didn't realize it also worked for underwater. I thought, like, it was just specifically airless planets, which I thought was a bit silly. But if it works underwater as well, that makes the high lotl, I think it is, is one of the races you can be, and they have, like, a starting perk that they can breathe underwater. But within like the first two hours of gameplay, you get a thing so you can don't need to breathe like anywhere. Ho ho ho! The mother load. So that kind of makes them underpowered. But oh well, I'm not gonna complain. I'm a bird person with all the benefits of being a fish person. Other than a fish type looking spaceship, I like my bird ship. It's all crystal themed and whatnot. Pretty nice. And speaking of bird theme ship, we're about to take it places. Because in this puddle alone, we're about to get like 500 fuel. 
that was 400, but we still got all this. And some off to the side. Some were out of our heart. A little bit. Okay, 461. So, not bad for an estimate. Might as well grab this. Waste not, want not, and all that. Just to see if the goodness continues. Okay. Sneaky. Looks like we're going to be building our next house out of moon dust. And how? My goodness! Oh my gosh. Oh my friggity. Oh! So much fuel. Alright, let's grab all this. And then, ow, rocks stabbing me everywhere. Let's grab this. And then let's make our way out of here. Let's just set ourselves up so it'll all funnel down. Nice. And now, we just have to mine out this one spot. So yeah, let's pick up this, and then we'll go to that eccentric star. And then we'll hopefully start making ourselves some titanium armor. And we can do another quest. For a penguin, I believe, actually. Alright. Oh, there's plutonium in the background. whoop -ha! Wait, throw it? Yes. Yeah, plutonium. It totally is radioactive, then. Like, yeah, guys. Like, yeah. Gosh dang, when I find huge pools like this, I just think there's got to be more huge pools around. And then I just go exploring forever. Like right here, tiny pool. It's so rewarding to grab liquid, though. Because you don't have to move, and it picks up so fast. Gosh, unless this is where we came in. Yeah. Whoop. This is totally where we came in. Alright, end of the line. Let's get out of here. I wonder how effective plutonium is. Who knows? For now, we'll just throw it in here. Ding. I have a lot of stuff that I should probably go through and figure out what's good and what's awful. Um. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh sweet, a nice even 500. We can go anywhere we want, guys. Anywhere. Radioactive, no. Menkent Eclipse. Fiery Star. Yeah, let's go here. It's probably the closest. Mm. Asteroids. No breathable atmosphere. I think those planets are actually kind of fun to go down on because you like, just have to jump from one chunk of asteroid to another. I don't know what the benefit is, though. Maybe there's a bunch of danger doors there. But back in the day, two years ago, reference again to when I was playing, um, there was basically no reason to go there. The planet's surface is covered in ocean moderate threads. Planet's surface is covered in ocean. The whole thing or just some of the things? Because if that's like Earth, Earth is actually a pretty good place. Day length 15 minutes. Oh, that's... Day length 14 minutes. That's actually uh, probably going to be the deciding factor for us here. Arid landscape prone to dust storms. No thank you. 12 minutes. 15 minutes so far on, like, a water world. 16 minutes on a fuel planet. Meh. Was it this one? 14 minutes. It's a huge one. Gravity. Oh, wow. It even tells you the gravity. So I guess... The different planets do have slightly different, like, size is a thing that matters. Oh, size matters. Um, oh, it's only 158, maybe like 1,500. Sweet. But, um, no, yeah, having, like, if the planet is bigger, like, it literally is bigger. It takes longer time to walk around. Um, you can't jump as high because gravity is stronger. And I guess, depending on, I don't know if it's a random stat for how long the day length is, like, a secret planet spins X amount of fastness type thing, but... Oh! 
Welcome into our first session of faster than light travel. But, I suppose, when we finally arrive at our destination, we can hop on down to the surface, check out what's going on, and that'll be that for this video. I hope there's some trees there. It says the surface is covered in ocean, but that's no reason why there shouldn't be any trees. I did that to see if it gave me any pixels. I don't believe it did. Hmm. Nice. Looks pretty sweet. Let's head on down. We're just gonna be in the water. Let's see what happens here. Sounds like it's raining. Ooh. This. I am liking this. Oh my gosh. If there's freaking underwater... Okay, I'll be honest, guys. Um, Like, deep ocean is one of my biggest fears. I never really thought about it until one day when I was playing Skyrim. And I was, like, in the far, far, far north section, and I was just swimming around under the water, and everything became, like, pure black. And I swam underneath an iceberg, and I was like, you know what? If there's something in this water, I'm absolutely doomed. And that game has, like, these terrifying angler fish that just bite you out of nowhere. Luckily, at the time, there was nothing around, but if there had been, I would have dookied my pants. And at that point, I realized, you know what? Open ocean, deep sea, that is some terrifying stuff. So this planet is going to be interesting for me, personally. Hey, this guy's waving at me. It's so great. Let's equip something less hostile looking. It's a bird. House bird. Sir, you keep birds as a pet? You animal! You disgust me! And I'm gonna loot your stuff! Current corn grows. Current corn, full of acid, not good for fleshy creatures. Well, I am a fleshy creature. I'll let you keep that corn. What's this guy have to say? I teach you how to build furniture for a hefty price. What? <laughs> hey man, I'll rip you off, but I'll teach you how to make furniture, straight up. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Oh my gosh! Did you see that thing climbing up at us? Oh. Oh. He dropped one of those matter manipulator modules. Modifiers. Matter module component. Component. Oh yeah. I don't... Well. Let's sit down to dinner with this nice man. Wait, that's Bonders. Huh. Well. Anyways, this has been the... 8th, 7th, ninth episode of Let's Play Starbound, and we have found a wonderful planet. I'm excited because this place seems super cool. Next time we come back, I will kill this dude and take his house? No, definitely not. That'd be super mean. But I'll try to build a home somewhere, throw down my other teleporter, and maybe we'll go for a terrifying swim in the deep. But until then, I'll see you guys around. Have a wonderful night.